Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Epcot and I am so excited because we're gonna be doing the brand new Moana attraction. Disney invited me out so I can show you guys and we're kicking off Destination D23 this weekend. So let's eat some food, ride some rides and have a beautiful Epcot kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. And here it is, Journey of Water, inspired by Moana. It's nice to see the walls down in Epcot, and I can't wait to go explore and show you guys. Look at all the water up there. This is gonna be fun, I can't wait. Before we discover the journey of water, we're gonna go have a little dinner inside of the Living Seas. And I'm gonna show you some place I've been wanting to go for such a long time. And it's a really special location here in Epcot. We're gonna be having dinner inside the seas, but we're not gonna be eating in Coral Reef. We're actually gonna be up inside the Living Seas VIP lounge at the very top. I've always wanted to go up here. It's the closest I'll ever get to Retro Epcot. And uh, we're going up there today and I get to show you. I never got to come to Epcot like during the 80s or the 90s, so I always wanted to see what it looked like. I see videos online, but I wish I could have rode, like I wish I could have rode some of the rides. And now we get to go to like an area that's untouched. It's been like this for a while, and it's even named after the former attraction that's here right now. It still kept its name. Look at this, the Living Seas Conference Center. I've always wanted to go up here and show you guys, and today's the day, it's gonna be so fun. And if you don't know what the Living Seas is, that's what this attraction used to be called, and that was the symbol for it. Look at how beautiful it is in here. We're surrounded by the aquarium, and it's so cozy. We've got a clear piano there, some food, some cake, everything we need. D23 is the official Disney fan club, and if you've never heard of it before, you should definitely check it out, especially if you're a Disney fan like me, because you get to come to cool events like this. You know what I mean? I went to Marceline, Walt Disney's hometown, with D23. We did uh, D23 Expo last year in Anaheim, and they even have a lot of big surprises uh, planned for tomorrow when they announce their upcoming events. And uh, let me tell you something, some of these events, I will literally pay anything to attend. I love how we're at the top of the Living Seas and we just get to look out and see all different types of fish and turtles and humans. Look at that. They're scuba diving in there. This is, and you can actually see people walking through the attraction. Do you see them in there in the background in the shadow? This is so cool. I love it in here. I want to go scuba diving. Oh, look, there's a bunch of people up there. Holy moly. There's a whole bunch of, actually, I think there might be more humans in this tank than there are fish. This is so cool. Look at that. Wow, you can actually sign up to do this. Like, you can pay to do this. It's open to the public. And it's one of the things I haven't done yet, but I really want to do it. They look like they're having the best time ever. I'm not gonna dive too much into the food. I just wanna show you guys what it's like uh, because we're just hanging out, socializing, talking. Like I mentioned, D23 is the official Disney fan club. So you put a bunch of Disney fans in a room and everybody has something in common and it's kind of cool. And, and then we're gonna eat dinner and then we're gonna head over. And also the Imagineers who worked on uh, the Moana attraction is actually gonna come out and talk to us and give us a guide through it to let us know some of the cool Easter eggs. All right, it's time to head into the journey of water inspired by Moana. This is so beautiful. Look at this. The water cycle. As we make our way through this walkthrough attraction, we're actually gonna learn about the water cycle and all of its different forms. You have river, ocean, lake, spring, wetland, stream, rain. Wow, the music though is what is really standing out to me. I think one of the most asked questions is, do you get wet? And I feel like you do get a little bit wet, but nothing like too crazy, unless you want it to be crazy. Like I think you have the choice, basically. 
Look at how beautiful this is. Wow. Each area has a different theme to it. And it's usually like a, a cycle of water is the theming. Like for instance, this is the stream and there's a little like interactions that you can do. Stand on the watermark and wave to the stream in front of you. Oh wow, look how beautiful Spaceship Earth is in the background too. Hi, ooh, that is cool. Look at this, you can actually choose between a dry path and a not so dry path. It's like a little water door. I wonder if it stops when I walk through. Here, look at it, ready? Oh, that was kind of cool. I'm coming back. <laughs> I'm coming through. <laughs> Wow. Oh, look, they even have restrooms here, too. We got to check the restrooms when we get back. Oh, there she is. Holy moly. Look at this reveal here. Wow. This is beautiful. Look at that. What a view, huh? Wow. This is just so beautiful here. Wait till you see Spaceship Earth light up. Look at, it's actually starting to glow a little bit now. You can see the lights are turning on, the water's hopping all over the place. Look at that. Tefiti. We are all Voyagers here. Look, oh, wow. Here we come. This must be the big finale because it's the ocean. Wow, everything's interactive in here. Oh! What? Wow, what's this do? Okay, so basically, normally what you do is you're gonna do like this. Oh! Oh, we gotta get more? Oh, okay. <laughs> One of my favorite things about Epcot when I first came here was uh, the uh, leaping water up uh, by uh, Journey into Imagination. And look at this area right here. There's like so many of them just hopping everywhere. It's like extreme. Look, I'm gonna try to, I hope I don't get hit. I don't know when they come or wh where they go. Look at that. Oh, wow. I think it likes to Oh, wow. Look at that monorail driving by. All right. So I got to show you a little bit of it during the day. Now I want to do a quick walkthrough when it's a little bit darker out and the lights are all on. This is really cool. You get to touch the water to make uh, music. Watch. I don't know if they're different sounds. Wow. Huh. I'm already wet. I love how you're just like, hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm waving at my water. Hi, water. Hi, water. Oh, look, the lights are turning on too. Hi, water. Hi, Barbie. <laughs> I ran through that water current like 10 times just to see if I can get wet at all. And it, it always shuts off as soon as you just get right there. But they do have a dry path in case you don't want to walk through the water. I don't think there'll ever be a day in my life where I'll take the dry side. And now I just kind of want to run around and do circles and hopefully I don't get hit by the water. Okay guys, correction, I just got soaked. You can't run through those, you can't walk fast either because uh, it doesn't give it time enough to shut off. I just got soaked, but I'm going back. After you, thank you. After you, thank you. After you, thank you. But now we are getting to the moment I was most excited for. The lights are all turned on. The water looks magical. And Tafiti, 
Looks beautiful. Wow, look at this, guys. This is what it looks like at night. I mean, honestly, if it's this empty, usually at night, which I bet you it will be, I would come here and just relax so many times. This one is making us jump. Jump on the splash pad to help send water back to the sky. Okay. Ooh, and the monorail drove by. Huh. Wow. Huh. I think it's so cool because I always felt like Epcot had a lot of educational like rides and uh, activities when I used to come here like when I first started vacationing here and it kind of went away from that you know what I mean but now I'm seeing like we're learning about the water and honestly I'm learning of, about the water reading uh, like some of the things that they have out like the information boards is actually teaching me something and I feel like that is like Epcot all right go Nate one, two, three. There it is. Woo! Away, away. Oh my gosh. Kyle with the fancy camera skills. Away, away. Away, away. away, away. Awesome. Yeah, right? The music's got me all pumped. Yep. It's really crazy how close the water gets to you when it doesn't actually hit you. Like, there's water flying over the top of my head right now. <laughs> One, two, three. And good morning from Disney's Contemporary Resort. It's time to kick off Destination D23. Last night, the Moana walk through the journey of water was amazing. I loved it. And uh, like I said, I know that there's a lot of pushback on it with people saying it doesn't belong in Epcot. It's still a beautiful attraction and I'm just happy that we have it somewhere. That's my take on it. You know what I mean? I really think it's awesome. And I know when I was a kid, I used to love the water feature you know uh, all around like the different state parks and stuff like that so I can imagine me being a kid and going there I kind of felt like a kid in there anyway I really did I felt like a kid in there anyway so I guess I could just imagine myself having fun because I really did and now we're gonna kick off the day with uh, some uh, d23 and Disney Parks news some uh, some uh, announcements of the future of uh, all the theme parks around the world and we have made it to Destination D23 in Disney's Contemporary Resort. Look at it down there. There's so many cool things, including the hyenas. And uh, here is the big room. Well, the Fantasia Ballroom, where they're going to be having all the panels and announcements. And uh, yeah, we're going to head into the, the most important panel of the day, the Disney Parks and Experiences, which is uh, where they're going to announce all the new upcoming things they have planned for the parks. When you join D23, like I mentioned, you can come to these events. Like you can buy tickets and actually come and do all of the cool things you're going to see in this video. And it's really awesome. I'll put a link uh, for the Ultimate Fan Club in the description. So if you have any interest, you can check it out. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to just explore around. I love how we're just walking around Disney's Contemporary and they have all the different like D23 signs. This is really cool. Well, there's Chris. We were just looking for my friend Chris and there he is. I am so excited to see what announcements are gonna be today and uh, look at, it's, it's pretty busy in here. Definitely a big crowd. When does the magic happen? Wow. <laughs> I have often dreamed of a far-off place where a hero's welcome would be waiting for me with a crowd. Going all night if you want me to. <laughs> hey, 
ready for that, Guardians? event at Epcot tonight, we've arranged for you to have Cosmic Rewind all to yourselves. <laughs> Today, somewhere out of here, uh, hope you all get a chance to meet Oh, there you are, right here. Here we go. Dreams are made. I said earlier, we are daring to dream bigger than ever before. Well, I'm daring you to dream right along with us, and you will be glad that you did. It might be impossible to believe this, but your best Disney memory, it is yet to come. And listen, our great big beautiful tomorrow, that starts today. So thank you everyone for being here at Destination D23, and of course, thank you the Muppets for making this morning extra. Before we go, before we go, I have one last surprise for my friend Dave here. Get over here, Dave. You're obviously most famous for your work with the Muppets, right? But you have a special connection to another character who can, <laughs> who can only be found here at Walt Disney World. And this is one of my favorite characters. And I know a lot of people love him here, too. I thought it might be fun to bring him out to meet you, of course, yeah. and to meet all of our fans. What do you guys say? Yeah. All right, guys. Let's bring him out. Excited to tell you that Figment will be ready to meet his fans in person starting tomorrow. And you all are going home today with a special figurine of Figment himself. And in honor of this special occasion, I've asked our Walt Disney World cast choir and our global ambassadors to lead us in a song. I think speaks to everything that we've been talking about today. How about you all join us for one little spark? Thank you all for being here. I'll see you all next week. All right, D23, let's sing it together. You know this one. Here we go. A little spark of inspiration is at the heart of all creation. Wow, that was amazing. They announced quite a few things and a couple of them I did not see coming. I took some notes, but they live streamed it so you can go back and watch it if you want to. But here are just some of the notes that I uh, took that they announced. The Hatbox Ghost is coming to Walt Disney World in November and the Country Bears are gonna be doing a new performance. They're redoing the Country Bears, the Country Bear Jamboree. Uh, Moana is opening October 16th. Test Track. Test Track is also getting reimagined. So they're redoing the Country Bears and Test Track. Um, the newest cruise ship was named Disney Adventure. Uh, they gave away a Disney cruise to a family live. Like, isn't that cool? They literally picked a random person and gave them uh, a trip to the inaugural uh, Disney Treasure. And then they also announced that uh, they're re-theming Dino Land. Dino Land is gone and uh, they're replacing it with the South America like theme where it's gonna incorporate uh, a little bit of uh, Encanto but also they hinted to the fact Indiana Jones is replacing Dinosaur the ride so we might be getting Disneyland's version of Indiana Jones or maybe a different version here in Walt Disney World and it's just amazing it's really cool to see like innovation innovation catching up with our imagination 
Josh DeMauro said that and I liked it so I stole it. And now we're gonna go hang out and I'm gonna show you some of the things they have for sale here. Some of the, uh, you know, vendor booths. Here is a look of all of the different spots you can go shop. On the second floor, they have Mickey's of Glendale, open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., the Ink and Paint Marketplace, and then the Walt Disney Company Store. And only at Destination D, uh, and uh, only at Destination D23 and D23 is when you're actually able to shop at some of these spots. And uh, the merchandise is very rare. I have to be careful when I come to Mickey's of Glendale because I uh, have a tendency to spend a lot of money here because of all the cool stuff that I can't normally get. I'm gonna have to maybe grab one of these bags. Might need one of the big bags. All of this stuff you can only buy, like I said, when you come to Destination D23 or D23. And uh, I love it. Look at, there's so many things. I love this zipper up hoodie. And if you notice, uh, the Sorcerer Mickey looks different. That's because all of this is Walt Disney Imagineering. And that is the Walt Disney Imagineering Sorcerer Mickey. And it all has the label where it says exclusive. And I love that. And they have so much stuff. They even have lounge flies over here. Look at the lounge flies, very fancy. I don't know what the prices are, but they all have Mickey on there. And then they've got some keychains. I did end up buying this little zipper up hoodie though, because I liked it so much. I thought it was cool. A couple of bags, some hats and some shirts, and then they have a Muppet section. Look at this, the Muppets. I love all of this. I'm, I am a, a proud supporter of more Muppets in the parks. They got Muppet socks. Muppet hats. You gotta love it. The Walt Disney Company store is also open to uh, anyone that is attending D23. Usually that's only for cast members, but now non-cast members can buy stuff. And then they have the Ink and Paint Marketplace where we're gonna see some new upcoming Disney parks like merchandise that they're gonna be selling and licensing. And I think that's kind of cool. One of the companies I was talking about that has some really cool Disney uh, park stuff coming out is Lug. And my friend Krista actually can tell me more about it because she works uh, for Lug. Yeah. Anywhere it's exclusive to D23, they're getting announced. So these will be available early 2024. This is one of our signature silhouettes that we got to add Disney characters and make them part of our character collection. Um, so these first four are going to be coming to World Showcase. So we have Mickey, who will be in Germany, Minnie, who will be in Italy, oh. Winnie the Pooh, will be at the UK Pavilion, and Chip here will be in Canada. So this one is special, so our founders, Amy and Jason, are a husband and wife team. They're huge Disney fans, they had a Disney wedding, they run Disney, they're annual pass holders, all of the above. And Amy is actually Canadian, so she does all of the designs. Everything that you see here all came out of her brain. So we also have stuff coming to run Disney. We're calling this our hidden Mickey quilting, so if you zoom in, you can actually see the little Mickeys in the back. Oh, I see them right here, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, this one has the same feature, so you can turn it into a belt bag or wear it as a crossbody. This is our water bottle holder that will be at Run Disney. So this will actually be this year at Wine and Dine. Um, so in November, just a couple months away. More of our hidden Mickey quilting can be converted into a waist bag as well. So these last two are coming to the UK Pavilion. Um, so we have the Winnie the Pooh charm here and classic Pooh. Inside, oh, also all of our bags have fun linings too. So inside of this one, we have our honey pots and little bees. And then there's also lots more pockets. So we have actually two pockets on this one. There's a cell phone pocket and another one for sunglasses, readers, anything else that you don't want to get scratched or mixed in with the rest of your bag. More pockets inside. There's a key bungee, some clear view windows, lots of good storage in here. That's so cool. It also comes with a crossbody strap, so you can wear it as with the handles or with the adjustable strap. And this one is probably my favorite. So as you said, Amy and Jason are big park goers. They're annual pass holders in the parks all the time. So she took one of our classic backpack silhouettes and actually added an extra pocket that she perfectly sized to fit a pair of ears in it. Wow. So if you want to wear your ears, but you don't want to have them on your head all day, now they have a pack of their own spot. If you if you don't wear your ears, it's just an extra pocket. Um, we also have, again, the signature cell phone pocket, double water bottle or a water bottle and an umbrella because it's Florida and you know it's gonna rain. Um, and more storage and pockets on the inside. Wow. 
That's too These cool. These are my go-to park bags. I already wear them in my real life, and now I get to wear them with Disney characters. I'm so excited. I'm excited. And this is just the beginning. So we have many, many, many more coming. We are working on 2025 projects already. So you're going to see lots more luck in the parks. We're so excited. Well, very cool. Where can we uh, uh, shop? Uh, you said Shop Disney. Yeah, so Shop Disney, most of these will be in-park exclusive. So actually, so inside Epcot, Run Disney, these will be at the Expo this year, just two months away. And then these will be in Epcot as well, at World Showcase. Well, thanks, Krista. Thank it's really cool to see more park exclusive like merchandise and I'm excited for uh, Krista and her bag. I think that's going to be a perfect fit, especially in World Showcase. And then they have a couple of other like uh, like uh, sponsors here, like they have Rock'em Socks, which is a great sock company, and then even Citizen. Citizen's here, and I love Citizen. They also have the Op Games uh, little booth here that shows a lot of Disney board games that they sell in the parks. They have Monopoly. You can buy these in the parks. I've seen them before. They have Geek Out. And they're also doing uh, something brand new that uh, we are learning about today. And uh, it's Taboo Disney. And I'm excited to show you guys and give you a little sneak peek. But look at this Monopoly set. I've never seen it open. And it looks amazing. The cards say Happily Ever After. Wow, and the castle in the middle? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Here is the exclusive D23 merchandise. They have a lot of stuff over here, including the lounge flies, some jackets and shirts. And then over here is Company D. We get to see all of the Walt Disney stuff. It's really cool, the Walt Disney Company. Look at that, they have shirts. I like just the subtle touches, just like that, or this shirt down here. And like I said, normally you couldn't buy these. Like non-cast members aren't allowed to purchase this. That's a really nice one. They have so many cool ones. Oh man, that's a cool zipper up. I already bought one though. And with that, we are done here today. That's a perfect first day to uh, Destination D23. Uh, now we're going to a special Epcot party uh, where we're going to be able to go and uh, ride Guardians of the Galaxy and test track and go through the new uh, Moana attraction. It's really cool. It's a part of your ticket too. So if you bought a ticket to go to Destination D23, then you get to go to Epcot and uh, kind of have the park to yourself. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it and let me know what you guys think of all the announcements in the comments below i'd love to hear what people are thinking and uh we'll see you next time bye look at this pretty girl laying in the grass who's the prettiest little dalmatian it's you gracie